So I was going through the comments in the last evolution video, the Famas at every Call of Duty. If you guys didn't check that out, make sure you guys go do so. And the majority vote for the next evolution video is the AK-47. So today we're going to be looking at the AK-47 in every Call of Duty. I'm going to have multiple shades of beard. It's going to be green at one point and then it's just going to completely turn to pink in the next. So I, I apologize for that. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys smash that like button. I don't know if we can break a thousand likes, but if we could just break a thousand likes, it'd be awesome. You know, this video is going to take forever. There's probably like 15 plus Call of Duties that I got to do. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers as well. So if you guys are brand new here, make sure you guys do hit that sub button and turn on notifications. My discount code at gfield.com for a discount discount obviously and without further ado let's go bros all right sweet we got into a game i couldn't get into a free-for-all game but it's all good now i gotta say i'd be lying once again if i said that this was like an original idea oh my god oh yeah sweet i killed him this video is inspired by hollow points video that was made nearly three years ago i just felt like this is the right time to do this video because of Modern Warfare 2019 coming out and there's another AK-47 that's coming into the game. Same with all the other weapons that are going to be in that game. So please, in the comments, I know I'm going to hear, You ripped off Hollow Point! You did this! You did that! Hollow Point did it first! Yeah, I know he did. And that's why he's an inspiration to me and plenty of other creators. Now, drop it. So... The first Call of Duty that we are going to look at is Call of Duty 4, and yeah, thanks Dark Muzz for the grenade spam. Now, I never play Call of Duty 4 in its prime, and a lot of you are probably going to click off this video as soon as you hear that. The first Call of Duty that I ever played was Call of Duty 4, but the first Call of Duty I ever owned was Call of Duty World War, so... We've got two words for ya! Suck it. <laughs> Come on. There's one. What?! Yeah, way to snipe him there, buddy. Oh, God, I'm flashed. I'm flashed. I'm so glad Juggernaut is not a thing anymore. Nope, you're done. Oh, my God, martyrdom. Sitting in the windows. Sitting in the windows. I'm used to that again because of uh, Modern Warfare 2019. Good God. Nope, he's donezo bonzo. There we go. Now, the AK-47 in this game is pretty freaking sweet. We'll also look at the AK-47 in Modern Warfare Remastered as well. Just because I feel like that's something that we that, that's dope that we could do. Looking at both games, the Remastered and the Original, I think that's something cool that we could do. So, you know, we're going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Let me shoot. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So we are we are here on Modern Warfare 2, and I literally was just recording, and then my power went out. Like all my shit went out. I don't know what happened, but it just all of a sudden went out. And yeah, I lost all my recording and everything. So that sucked. That sucked a lot, actually. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? I go. There's one. No, no, no. So the AK-47 looks a little bit more modernized. Yeah, modernized. I think that's a word. In Modern Warfare 2, it doesn't have that, like, classic look that the AK-47 in Call of Duty 4 has. And when I say classic look, the classic look to me is the one that's in Modern Warfare 2019 and the one in Call of Duty 4. It's got, like, a wood look to it. It's got that classic type look. Whereas in this game and Modern Warfare 3, it kind of has a modern look to it. Which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. I really like the look of this gun. And honestly, oh my god, they almost hit me. I, I like the look in MW3 a little bit more than this game. But it's all good. It's still a badass gun. It still sounds fucking awesome. And I'm still not getting any kills. That that's awesome. Okay. So, the gameplay I was recording was really close to, like, dropping a nuke. I, I was on, like, a Harrier streak. I was, like, getting close to my chopper gunner. And then, like, my power went out. So, yeah, that that's freaking great. No, stop using noob tubes. What are you doing? Nope, there we go. You should probably use the AC-130 if you're trying to go get a nuke on this map, but... Of course, yeah, fucking noob tubes. This game brings back so many memories. Me and my friends used to play this game all the time when we were in high school, and it just... Oh my god, it's my favorite Call of Duty. It brings back so many memories. You know, that might be a little bit of nostalgia, but... Man, this game was fun. I don't care if everything was overpowered or not. Like... This game was a fun game, and we had so much fun playing this when I was in high school. We put countless days and hours into this game. Yep, there he is. Yep, he's dead. Look at that. 
Yeah, NoobTuber, get out of there, buddy. I don't know. I feel like we could play one more. I kind of want to play one more game of Modern Warfare 2, honestly. Oh, hi, Rise. How much I missed you. We're going to go down bottom, and someone just got sniped, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure someone got spawned sniped on this map. Oh, man. The memories. God, High Rise is such a good map, bro. Love this map. There's so many ways to get around the map. There's so many ways to go through this map. There we go. There's another guy. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Friendly predator missile incoming. Dude, oh my god, bro. Fucking Commando Pro. But guys, let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite AK-47 in every Call of Duty? Mine? Oh man, I don't know. Mine would either have to be Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy, but whatever. All right, so um, we're actually playing free-for-all, and I couldn't find a free-for-all lobby in Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4. And we have the Black Ops 1. AK-47. Oh, dude. Th th now, this gun. This gun is probably one of the most badass guns I've ever played with. It sounds amazing. Come here. I know you're coming. Nope. Oh, yep. Yep. I'm dead. Get over it. There we go. There's there's a guy. I feel like this is uh this is a campy free-for-all. But the Black Ops 1 AK-47, honestly, like, it, it was really cool seeing the Black Ops 1 AK-47 when it, it came into the game because we were so used to, like, the modern setting. No fucking way, dude. Let's see that in an instant replay. Whatever, I'm over it. I'm over it! The Black Ops 1 AK-47 was a gun that I've always enjoyed. I thought it would come back in later Call of Duties, but it never did. I know that Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 technically have AK-47s in, like, campaign or zombies or whatever. But I always thought that they would come back in, like, multiplayer or whatever. And I definitely thought it was going to make a comeback in Black Ops 4. Because if, if you go on Nuketown... There's definitely an AK-47, like, laying in... Oh, no, it looks like a cell. Like, it looks like a prison cell, but it's got, like, a bunch of guns and stuff like that in it. But it's got an AK-47 model in there, and I was just like, oh, that, that'd be cool if they brought back the AK-47 from BO1. That's a gun that we haven't really seen in a while, and, you know, I feel like a lot of people would enjoy. Oh, my. Dude, why? If you guys didn't know, uh, we're doing like a breast cancer awareness type month thing for October. I'm dying my beard pink. And then if you guys follow me on Twitch, uh, we'll be doing like streams where, you know, all the donations, unless specified, will go to a certain charity. Why do I have a throwing knife on this class? I, I don't think I changed the class. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't know how these guys are getting all these streaks. <laughs> oh, that's why. Because he has... Isn't that... <laughs> Alright, so now we're on Modern Warfare 3. And Modern Warfare 3 was one of my favorite Call of Duties for, like, the longest time. And then, I don't know why, but it just kind of started losing the Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. I just stopped enjoying MW3 as much. And it's probably because that Modern Warfare 2 nostalgia of me playing with my friends all the time. It's just something I can't really replace. But the AK-47 in this game... Looks badass. It's all black. It's, it's so badass. This is the first game with uh, Stock or Stalker, as many people know it as. I remember when Stalker first came into the game, it was just like a game changer, bro. Like, everybody was like, holy shit, like, we don't feel like super still or anything anymore. And it was just so good, you know. The Infinity Ward games have always really just... They've always... Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they, they lag, but, you know, whatever. Um... The Infinity Ward games have always had some game-changing thing in it, whether it's create a class, whether it's a uh, stalker or stock. All the Infinity Ward games, for the most part, have been innovative and just badass, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, 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 what, what the fuck was that? The lag in MW3 is really bad now. Uh, honestly, like, it's so bad. Like, look at that shit. It's excruciatingly bad. It's disgustingly bad, actually. I cannot stand it. That's one of the reasons why I don't play this game as much anymore. And it's because the game lags so fucking much Kill that joy. I can't stand to play it. I love the game to death, but it just lags so much. And I don't know why. Dude, like, look at this shit! Look at that! thought that was a guy. Honestly. Oh, that's two-piece. Wait, no, that's only one guy. Double kill. Oh, there's two piece. Put that right there. I know there's gonna be more, so.
No. Killing spree. Oh, there we go. We got marksman. Kinda sorta. I'm well, yeah, we're stuck. I'm stuck. Kinda surprised that we don't. Okay. Double kill. There we go. Specialist bonus. There we go. That's what I like to see. I was like really, really good timing actually. Nope. Of course. Now, before anyone says anything in the comments, before I get any comment like this. Yes, I know the AN-94 was created in like 1994, and I know it is a completely separate gun from the AK-47. However, there is no AK-47 in this game, except when you play the campaign. So, I'll throw some campaign footage in here as well. And in the multiplayer, the AN-94 is the AK-47 of this game. They are not the same gun. But Treyarch decided to implement the AK-47 in campaign only and decided to implement the AN-94 in the multiplayer. So, you know, I, I yeah, I, I don't know. You know. Blame Treyarch. But they decided to replace the AK-47 with the AN-94 in this game, which is fine. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with that, but I want you guys to know that I do know that this gun is not a futuristic AK-47, and I need you guys to know it plays the role of the AK-47 in this game because there's no AK-47 in the multiplayer. I just had to clarify that because I knew I was going to get people in the comments saying, oh, the AN-94 is not the AK-47, and like all this other shit, so... But this gun fucking shreds. It, it fucking melts. And we're in free-for-all. Thank God I can find a free-for-all game in this game. And hopefully it doesn't get hacked to shit. You know, it's, it's looking pretty good right now. But you never know with Black Ops 2. So the AN-94, the first AN-94 of 3, because obviously Black Ops 3 has the KVK-99M. And Black Ops 4 has the AN-94. This gun is really good in this game. And I love the sound of it. I love that it has like a very distinct sound. It's got a sound that we never really heard in a Call of Duty before. At least in my opinion. I don't think it sounds like any other gun that we've used in Call of Duty. And it kind of sucks that they didn't bring it back for Black Ops 4. Like the, the gun sound. I mean, I know that they brought the gun back, but the gun doesn't sound anything like the AN-94. In this video, we have no camos on the guns because I feel like that's like a more traditional look. I feel like that's, that's better for this kind of video. Uh, there's a guy right there. Nice, nice, nice. It's kind of weird that they didn't put the AN-94, or that they didn't put the AK-47 in multiplayer. And it wasn't like a futuristic looking AK-47. It's it's weird that they didn't do that, considering that the AN-94 was made in 1994. And that just, I don't know, that's kind of weird. I, I noticed that when I was looking it up. I was like, why didn't they just include something that was kind of like a futuristic AK-47? Or whatever, you know? They could have put, like, an AK-12 in the game because technically the game takes place in 2025? Something like that? Yeah. I mean, whatever. It was different. It was something different for the franchise, and I can't really, like, fault them for it. I mean, it's whatever. It, it was something different. Futuristic boots on the ground game was different. Okay, so I was not going to play Ghost Last Gen at first, but then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, we might as well. It's, it's, go it's Ghost Last Gen. I, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just more games for me to play. So, <laughs> so Ghost Last Gen. The AK-12 is the AK-47 variant, whatever. It's the, it's the AK-47 model of Call of Duty Ghost. There's no AK-47 in this game, and that's unfortunate. But, oh my god, it's lagging. But at the same time, it's okay, because we're not going to be playing this for long. I guess you can definitely tell the difference between this and the PlayStation 4 or Xbox 3 or Xbox One graphics but to me I don't really I mean I see a difference but at the same time it's not like oh my god these are insanely good like these are like so much better oh shit if, did someone get a chem strike I just got in this game what the fuck okay so I guess okay yeah someone got a, ca a chem strike out of a care package whatever I don't know what that is but okay there we go. Okay, so like this is the first uh, last gen game we're gonna play because uh, we're also gonna play Black Ops 3 last gen. <laughs> but this is the last boots on the ground game that went on last gen for Call of Duty. But then I'm pretty sure the very last last gen game for Call of Duty was Black Ops 3. Let's see here. Um, there's one guy. Double kill. There's two guys. Um, third guy. There's fourth guy. There's fifth guy. Okay. 
All right, we're kind of going off on Ghost, Ghost Last Gen. All right, let's do this. All right, um, this is the last Call of Duty before we get into the jetpack games. And I'm going to say this about Ghost. Call of Duty Ghosts has some great hit detection. It's got great hit detection, but the maps are kind of bad and they're pretty campy. I do realize the AK-12 is a real gun. But for the AK-47 model that we're all looking at, this is what it is in Ghost. Because there's no DLC weapon that is the AK-47 in this game and all that good jazz. Okay, yeah. I don't know how this is going to go. I figured I would play free-for-all, but I don't know if that was a smart move. I wanted to play free-for-all, and I figured, hey, they won't be that campy. It won't be that bad. But, like, I'm still thinking about it, and I'm just like, you know what? This is Ghost. But I don't know how much worse Team Deathmatch will be. So, I feel like I'm in, like, a lose-lose situation with this game. All right, there we go. Nice, there's a kill. Nice, nice, nice. Now, Call of Duty Ghost gets a lot of hate because of the maps and all that stuff. What can you say? The maps suck balls in this game. Alright. Nice. There we go. There's another kill. There's also, like, a lot of frame rate lag in this game, and that sucks, too. But, I don't know. This gun doesn't really sound like an AK, in my... Or, like, I guess... I guess I don't really know what an AK sounds like, but... A lot of the other games have had AKs that sound completely different than this. And I feel like a lot of the guns and ghosts sound very similar. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm really glad I checked my back. It's like, why Why am I doing this? Why am, why am I doing this to myself? The AK-12 is in this game. But there is an AK-47 in this game. See, look, look. Look, look at that shit. Okay, so we're going to use the AK-12. I'm going to get like two kills with it. And then I'm going to use the AK-47. Oh my god. Okay, so this game makes me fucking nauseous. I really don't like the jetpacks in this game. The motion blur is fucking ridiculous. And I keep trying to slide and I just got shot in my back. I'm going to keep running over here. All right, yeah, there's one kill. Nice. You know what's really weird is that like, they, they changed like the headshot like look in this game like in the kill feed they changed it and i don't know why they did that i guess sledgehammer games was just trying to be different for whatever fucking reason but like if it ain't broke don't fix it there buddy there we go hello sir there we go okay we got enough kills with that all right so the ak-47 the the ak-47 in this game is a dlc weapon that's why i kind of didn't want to include it in the original like or at, at first like i mean i was gonna include it obviously the original game without the dlc weapons had the ak-12 in it so that's why i included it in this video just like ghost had the ak-12 but ghost only had two dlc weapons so you know it didn't have a chance to put an ak-47 in the game but uh yeah okay so it's, it's, oh there's a guy right there hi it's just weird Oh my god. Hello. I have no attachments. I'm pretty sure I have grip on this and that's it. I think it's I think it's so crazy how like Sledgehammer Games started taking stuff from like Infinity Ward Call of Duties and like putting them in this game like the AK-47, the M16, uh, like all the modern CODs and they like also uh, Skyrise, which was High Rise in Modern Warfare 2. And yeah, I know that, you know, the uh, I know that Sledgehammer Games worked on Modern Warfare 3 and things like that, but it's just so weird to me because I never really I don't know. I didn't play Advanced Warfare, so, like, I didn't grow up in this jetpack era type shit. That's right. We're doing it for the memes. We're doing, we're doing it for the memes. How do I find a match in this game faster than Modern Warfare 2? Alrighty. So, we're on Hunted, I think. Yeah. We have the KN44 on Black Ops 3 last gen. Hell yeah. I haven't played this in a little bit. I was thinking about just doing a series where we went for Dark Matter on this game. Because I think it would be hilarious. And this gun has no recoil. None of the guns in this game have any recoil. It's the same gun as the one in Black Ops 3. But, you know, it's just it has no recoil because none of the guns in this game have any recoil like look at that it's it like it's not even visible like you can't even tell it's fantastic it's the greatest thing ever this was made by Beanox and, and not Treyarch so you know anyone who says Treyarch's lazy uh no this is probably uh Activision saying ah we, we can just develop one more game for last gen consoles and we'll just have someone else make it and they had Beanox make it this game should not be a thing but I think it's so funny and it's great for the memes so you know when, when I say the games are memeable or they're a big meme it's either one of two things they're a big meme in a good way like Halo 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or they're a big meme in a bad way like Call of Duty World War 2 or like Infinite Warfare like we could consider Infinite Warfare a really really big meme the, the graphics are so bad in this game there we go, there's one kill. Imagine like a quad feed with every gun on Black Ops 3 last gen, dude. All right, so we're on Black Ops 3 now. And uh, this is the KVK-99M, AKA the AN-94. Uh, we used it in Black Ops 2. 
We're not going to use it in Black Ops 3 because uh, I don't have it unlocked because supply jobs. Yeah! We got the AK... Well, not the AK. Well, it's the KN44, aka the AK-47 of this game, and you are garbage. And I was playing TDM last game, and now I'm not because I normally don't play TDM, I, or at least not in these newer games. I don't like playing TDM. I like playing free-for-all because like, I like relying on myself and not any teammates and obviously as you guys saw in black ops 2 earlier game mode i love playing in black ops 4 actually and so that you can bet your bottom dollar that foxy graham grams or is going to be playing free for all and call of duty modern warfare 2019 we have the kn44 and it really surprises me that the ak-47 was not brought back into this game just like I'm, i was surprised that it wasn't brought into black ops 2 and the reason i say that is because uh, this game is a Black Ops game, and everyone that played Black Ops 1 really liked the AK-47, and it just surprises me that Treyarch never brought it back. Double kill. Ooh. Oh my god, shotgun. There we go, there's one. There we go. Hopefully we can get a comeback going. Or not. Nope. Double kill. Oof. There we go, there's another one. I wanna see if anyone's over here. Nope, no one's over here. Double kill. Thank God I have awareness on. What? All right, so now we are on Infinite Warfare and we are using the Volk. Now the Volk is just the AK-47 of this game. I'm curious as to who remembers. Good God, this game is loud. Holy shit, it's super loud in my fucking ears right now. Who remembers the pre-patch Volk for Infinite Warfare? Because the pre-patch Volk in Infinite Warfare was like a three-shot kill. Like, it was so good. It was so, so good. Oh my goodness. I, I remember that so well. Oh my, what the fuck is that? Okay, there's another one. Okay. I just tried a stem shot. Why is everyone fucking sniping? Why is everyone sniping in this game? Did I, did I miss something? Am I missing something here? <laughs> what? Okay, so everyone's using like the models. Are they like super OP in this game? Just like, that's all I hear. Kill. There we go. I mean, like, th and this is like a s kind of a small map. I wish we were playing on throwback. I love throwback. Shit. I was gonna say, I hope I don't die right there. Okay, that's awesome. But the Volk is really good too. Like the Volk, the Volk was better pre-patch. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it was it was a lot better pre-patch. But uh, what the fuck? What kind of movement is this? The one thing that's really weird about this game is the fact that this gun is like, it's like a laser gun instead of like actually firing regular bullets and stuff like that. Like it's super weird. It just shoots lasers instead of shooting actual bullets. And it, that kind of throws the sound off for me. It's still pretty much the AK-47. It's still cool to see. If you played Infinite Warfare, let me know if these things are over. Like, I mean, obviously they're overpowered. I'm like getting destroyed by them right now, but. Wow, I'll get turned on. All right, so I'm down 12. And this is the AK-47 in Modern Warfare Remastered. Oh, shit, wait, hold on. How do I do this? Oh, that's right. Yes. AK-47 in Modern Warfare Remastered. Isn't it beautiful? It's fucking awesome. I figured we would just show this just because, you know, the remastered game, showing the graphics, how much they've changed between 2007 and 2017. Or 2016 when this game actually released, but... There we go. I got a helichopter. Where's UAV? He's underneath. There we go. Yep, he's down. I don't know how that's not killing that one guy, but whatever. All right. Oh, sweet. The guy said, "Ow." Yes, we got a helicopter. Let's go. I camped. A, I camped for it, but that's only because there's a helicopter outside. I would not have camped for it if, if there hadn't been a helicopter outside. That's the only reason I camped for it. Nope. You get off me. What are you doing? Again, fucking choppers over here. So. There you go. Wow. Okay, so let's take mine out, but let's not take the other guy's chopper out. Yeah, that's so garbage. Whatever. No, get off me. What are you doing? Of course, sitting in a building, sitting up top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and now we're on Call of Booty World War II, and we have the AS-44. So, let's go, bros. I'm just going to wait for this guy to come out. 
Okay, yeah, this gun sucks balls. I just missed all my shots right there, though. So this is the AS-44, and this is the AK-47 of Call of Duty World War II. I know it's not specifically an AK-47, but when, it, when this gun came out, everyone was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be the AK of this game. Some people talk, kind of were saying the Volk was the AK of this game, but I highly disagree. I'm kind of sitting in a corner. I know, I know, I know. Spree. Okay. Double kill. Okay, there's another guy. Wow, and you're sitting over here like a little noob. Oh, this is a DLC weapon. And I know that like some of these are DLC weapons and that's only because, you know, the game didn't come with an AK-47 variant or like an AK-47 type weapon. Uh, I don't really think that this game had like an AK type of weapon at first. Oh man, I, I wouldn't really consider the any weapons like the STG or anything like that similar to the AK-47 in my opinion. Uh, this game is um, just, yeah, it's, uh, it's a doozy, that's for sure. There you go, he's gone. Ah. But free-for-all, you know what, I didn't really play a lot of free-for-all in this game. I, I, I was playing more TDM and Domination, kind of, sort of. Like, I never played Domination on this map, though, unless I was partied up with people because this map is just fucking chaos with requisitions and... All that other shit. Oh, also, uh, <laughs> I actually like completely forgot because I'm just like doing the commentary as I normally do. Double but the beard kill. is now like maroon-ish, like magenta-ish, reddish, pinkish uh, type color. Uh, the guy that's just spawned right next to me. Yeah, that's awesome. We're doing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Later on in the month, I'm going to do the beard uh, like super bright pink. We're going to bleach it again and everything but you shout out to sarah for like letting me uh for or at least like dyeing my beard you know it was really good Re really awesome i love how it turned out too like it looks really really good the beard looks awesome it's not fully pink yet but that's because my hair's so dark oh, dude this is like the worst spot to spawn in i don't think that this gun is that good to be honest why are you sitting right there Okay. Okay, so now we have the KN57 I just got fucking destroyed. And this is the AK variant of Black Ops 4. Why are you shooting at me? There we go. There's a nice kill. Alright, so the KN57 is the AK47 model in Black Ops 4. And this gun is really fucking good unless you're getting killed by campers like that. That, that sucks. The KN57 is one of my favorite guns in this game. Honestly, it's one of the best guns in the game. Like, best overall guns in my opinion. It's like an overall great gun. You know, you can kill someone at medium, long, close range, whatever. I almost said far, so I almost said long twice. You know, it, it's good. It's really good. And I like the model of this gun. I think it's, I think it fits like that, like, um, that futuristic AK-47 look really nicely. You know, they call it the KN because the KN was in Black Ops 3 and they're trying to have some consistency in the Black Ops series, especially with, with Black Ops 3 and 4. So, I understand that. Of course, nice. Which is fine. You know, it, it is what it is. You know how fucking stupid you sound? Right over here? Nope. Nope. There's a guy right there, though. Nope. Double kill. Nope. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Man, it's so crazy. Like, there's been so many iterations of the AK-47 in every Call of Duty. That's... And it's so cool to see that. It's awesome to, like, look over all these uh, variations. And just to let you guys know, like... But the, in the next game, in Modern Warfare 2019, my beard is going to go back to, like, greenish-blue. Because, like, I recorded that during the beta weekend. So, don't be alarmed that my beard is, like, a completely different color. I didn't dye it back. Like, don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> and yes, the AN-94 is in this game. But I was not going to include that because I truly just don't care. The AN-94 is fucking garbage in this game. It's just not good. It's not good, so we're not going to use it. And like I said earlier, man, I really thought that the AK-47 was going to make a return in this game. Because if you go in Nuketown, there's that, like, little, like, chamber or, like, little, like, prison cell out in one of the backyards. And it's got an AK-47 model in there. I definitely thought that they were going to bring that gun back into this game. Especially because they were kind of bringing back some older guns from BO1 and BO2. But they just didn't bring it back, man. And it's kind of a bummer. Not even going to lie. Like, it's it's a huge bummer for me. I was really hoping that they would bring it back. And there were, like, leaked files, like, earlier in the game of the AK-47 being in this game. If you guys remember that, that was, like, back, like, near the beta, sort of. I can't remember. But I, I know for a fact that it was, like, leaked for, like, a good portion of this game. There we go. There's another guy. Killing spree. Nope. Here we go. And we came back in one. Let's go, baby. All right. Now, finally, we have the AK-47 
and Call of Booty Modern Warfare. Oh my god, I'm, e I'm being shot as soon as I spawn in. Holy shit, what kind of what kind of shit is that, bro? Oh, there's a guy. Double kill. And like two. Oh, dude, that would have been nasty if I could have gotten three. So the AK-47 in this game, you got to run the right attachments in order to make it work, man. Because the AK-47 has a lot of kick in this game. It's more kick than I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game for an AK. Because normally, you know, it's got some kick. The AK is a really strong gun. But it's just so, like, it's got so much kick in this game. And it really, I mean, I guess it doesn't surprise me. Why is he in there? Oh my god, what? Fix the spawns, please! Please fix the spawns. I'm begging. I'm begging you guys to please fix the spawn. Alright. Oh, look. Hey. Look, there's two guys. And there's a third guy behind me! We got the AK. There's no animation or, like, weapon animations in this game yet. So, bear with me because there is none. And that's okay, though. Because, you know, obviously the AK-47 looks awesome. I have... Uh, it doesn't have as much kick on it right now because I have a t certain attachments on it. But this gun is kind of hot garbage with no... No attachments, which kind of sucks because like in all the Call of Duties that we've seen, the AK or a version of the AK-47 has always been really, really good. So we're going to kind of stay on the ground here. Uh, that's not the best idea, to be honest. I should probably just like go indoors. Indoors! I was having a hell of a time trying to get this done. <gasps> and of course, there's a Claymore sitting right there. The only problem I have with Ground War right now is the tanks. I don't think that there should be three tanks that spawn in. Uh, I, I think that's a little bit too much. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think three tanks is too much at once. I think there should be possibly two. There we go, there's a nice, another kill. There we go. I'm getting shot from that side. There we go, we're gonna run around this way. Oh my god, he scared the shit out of me. Ah, so the tanks are like really overpowered. I think tanks are cool. Like that's awesome Like I don't mind that because obviously world of war had tanks and things like that But the problem I have with the tanks is that number one the fire rate is way too fast It's way too fast. You can fire four shots in a matter of seconds and that's just insanely OP Um, and then my other problem with them is the fact that there's three of them There's one guy what the fuck was that? Oh, that was a white phosphorus. I was like, what the hell was that? Let's see if anyone's gonna push. It doesn't seem like they're gonna push, but... There we go, there's another guy. Yikes, oh my god. So this UAV up. Hold on. See here, hold on. There's more. So yeah, like when when you have the right attachments on like I have grip which or like one of the grips Which really helps with the vertical recoil of this gun So that's why it's kind of steady for me right now Which is really really nice because this thing's got a lot of kick. It's got it's got more kick than I'm used to There we go Yeah, he was super mad God damn it, bro. All right, that's it Guys, thank you all so much for watching. This took a long, long time to make. So if you guys don't mind smashing that like button, I do appreciate it. What do you guys want me to do for the next evolution video in Call of Duty? And we will do that. I promise you guys. These are a lot of fun to make, but they do take a while. So I apologize for taking so long. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to do next for the next evolution video. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.